Uh, welcome to ML136. Today I'm joined by Tim. Hey Mark, how you doing? So are you ready for Christmas? Yeah, I, I, I think I'm ready for Christmas. Uh, I kind of enjoy all the hustle and bustle and all the activities going on, the Christmas lights and, and all that. So yeah, I think we're ready. Any Lego shopping involved from now until the new year? As far as Lego shopping, uh, I have picked up a few sets. Uh, my granddaughter's birthdays, uh, one is in November. Uh, the other one is coming up uh, here in December, right before Christmas. So, yeah, there has been uh, quite a bit of Lego shopping. More the uh, the smaller sets uh, for their age group. Uh, I'm kind of holding off right now. I've got quite a few sets uh, that I haven't built. Uh, some of them's on the shelf behind me. I've got them stuck underneath the desk and everywhere. So, uh, I'm probably holding off and... It's going to be holding off for the Titanic. Uh, most definitely will be adding that to the collection. Talking of Lego, how did you get started with Lego? How did I get started? Well, that goes way back. Uh, I'm a kid from the 70s, so uh, I do remember some classic space when I was a kid. Uh, I couldn't tell you what sets we had. I do recall mom and dad saying that uh, Lego was very expensive and they bought us an off-brand called Tyco. You know, it works just like Lego. Being an adult now, it's not the same thing. So, uh, we did play with a lot of Tyco, but it was, and, and Lego, but it was just bulk, uh, like classic sets, just a mixture of bricks and plates. I got back into Lego uh, last year when my daughter come waltzing in with the uh, Steamboat Willie set awesome set great build and got me hooked what is one of your favorite things about the lego community one of the things i absolutely enjoy and love about the lego community is its hospitality i haven't met a jerk or anything like that yet any i mean not in the least little bit uh everybody's super friendly they're they're super nice I'm a, I'm a little fish in a big pond, and uh, I've gotten more help from the LEGO community, uh, getting everything up and running, my Instagram, the TikTok, uh, YouTube, and getting more support from the LEGO community, from people I don't even know that are willing to help. It's, it's just amazing. You know, I've got other hobbies, and some of those guys in the other hobbies, it's like, you know what, you figure this out yourself. I figured it out. You can figure it out. The Lego community is definitely not that way. Uh, great. I mean, just a great group of friends. And I've met a lot of people like you, Mark. What is your favorite set from old sets to new sets? This is the uh, 67 Mustang GT. Uh, that is the set that actually, not the set. It's one of the sets. Uh, one of the sets that actually got me back into Lego was the little German Shepherd uh, poly bag with the Frisbee. I bought that with, uh, for my granddaughter. We built it together. We bought a few smaller sets, but I'd say my most favorite set is the 67 Mustang GT. Uh, the kids and grandkids went in together and purchased that for my birthday this year. Uh, and it's it's kind of snowballed from there. Absolutely love the set. Great build. I'd say my next one is probably the Porsche 911 in the uh, collector, uh, the uh, Creator Expert series. So great car, great build. Both of them are awesome builds. So you have a YouTube channel yourself. Am I correct? That is correct. I do have a YouTube channel. Uh, it's It's a work in progress. Let's just say that. Uh, where can uh, so can you tell us a bit about your YouTube channel and where they can any other social medias they can find you at? Sure, uh, YouTube channel is TW Bricks. It's the one with the yellow logo. There's another gentleman out there that's got a TW Bricks YouTube account. 
Uh, so TW Bricks, yellow logo, can't miss it. I think we've got around 93 subscribers right now, so it's uh, it's in the, the young, early stages of its uh, life, you would say. Also Instagram, TW underscore Bricks, and also on TikTok, TW Bricks 21. Everything's got a little bit different postings uh, throughout the week. Some of them are duplicates, very limited, and if they are, it's just little segments. Different content on different different social media platforms. Uh, where do you see um, Lego taking you in the future? My future in Lego. Well, this journey has started uh, because of a back injury that I've, I've uh, acquired. So several procedures, operations, I'm up and walking, I'm moving. That's one thing they didn't expect me to do was walk again. What I'm planning on doing is taking this and running with this platform. I absolutely love getting into Lego again. Uh, like I said, I went through the dark ages, but I'm back now. So love the journey and I would love to see a, a resale shop in my future. On the YouTube channel, one of the things that we've been doing is going to uh, different resale shops around our area. I say area. I'm driving anywhere from two to four hours away just to visit these shops. Anyway, I would like to open a shop in the future, probably the uh, not so distant future. We'll see what, uh, you know, how this journey progresses and where it takes me, but that is the plan uh, to make sure the YouTube channel is up and running, that I've got the followers, subscribers, and support there, uh, as well as Instagram and focusing on opening a shop. Anyway, I'm off, and uh, I'm going to catch you in a bit. Bye. Good talking to you, Mark, and let's stay in touch. See you guys.